You rely on the Word of God. That means you rely on everything that's written in the book. Don't let any man deceive you and preach contrary to what the Bible says. People will come to you and say, there's a secret name of God, there's a real name, and if you don't know the real name, you're not going to heaven. That's not scripturally accurate. The New Testament was written in Greek and given to us in Greek. Pontius Pilate wrote above Jesus' head, uh, Jesus of the Nazarene, King of the Jews, abbreviated with an I-N-R-I. -I. And both of those I's in that abbreviation are pronounced with the J sound. So people will say, well, the J wasn't around, so they didn't call him Jesus. Well, that's not true, because at the time they had a different letter for that sound. So, the first page of Matthew, an angel tells Mary that his name will be Jesus. And it's even called the Gospel of Jesus Christ. So, and if that's not good enough, look at old Bibles from the 1500s and 1600s. Everything with a J had an I in place of it. But the pronunciation was always the same. So there's a lot of debate going on. And there's this Hebrew cult going around, and they're fancy pants, Hebrew language. It's not biblically accurate. So, Jesus is his name. It was proclaimed under the influence of the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 4. It was declared in front of everyone. Someone was healed with the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Pharisees said, don't teach in the name and don't preach about him. And we're doing that and we're getting ridiculed. So stand firm, stay bold, stay true to his word. If you're following it, then you have to accept every single word in the book, which means we don't live on a spinning water ball either. You know, the earth was made with foundations. The sky was created after the earth was formed Stars, moon, and sun are the only things that move. We don't.